You sure are an interesting one, Caitlin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my review of this week's Bachelorette episode. What an interesting episode. For the last few weeks, I've said to you, I've been kind of on the fence on whether or not I like Caitlyn or not. I was just kind of indifferent with her. Well, tonight I kind of slid over to the negative side because I found Caitlyn just to be somewhat mean this week. First of all, she had Joe come out and say, you know, I love you, only to stop and say, you know what? I don't have the same feelings, but I wanted, you, I wanted to hear you say that to me so I would know for sure. Really? I'm not an expert, but I don't necessarily need another woman to tell me that she loves me before I can figure out that I don't love her. So for him to put himself completely out there just for her amusement seemed extremely mean. But she wasn't done there. The next thing she did was she had Calvin Harris, a.k.a. Sean, basically in the hot seat and basically said to him, well, you know what? I went out with Nick, it went too far, and we had sex. But it was interesting watching as she was talking to as she was talking to him, because it seemed that she was just really looking to see what his reaction was gonna be like. She was just looking to like, you know, get at him and get under his skin. Now, Calvin Harris disappointed me when he decided that he wasn't going to leave. He had the full opportunity to say, hey, I'm out of here, I don't want to deal with this. Because after all, Nick's a guy that he absolutely loathes. He can't understand why in the world she would hook up with him. But he decided to stay. Instead of, instead of you know, taking what, what scraps of dignity he had left, he decided to stay. Some people might think that's a good thing. I don't. Let's just say that it ends up being Sean. Sean, you will forever have to live with the fact that while she was getting to know you, she really wanted to be with him. And you would end up being nothing more than a consolation prize. You will always have to live with that. Sleep well. I was sad to see Jared go home because Jared seemed like such a nice guy. I would have thought he'd be next in line for the next Bachelor, except he's already signed on for um, Bachelor in Paradise, whatever it's called. He's probably thinking to himself, wait a minute, I didn't even get a date and I'm getting sent home? Poor guy. So the body language was very interesting tonight. And some of uh, some people will say that I put too much emphasis on body language, but when when Kaylin was with um, was with, was with Joe, her legs were crossed away from him, and then he ended up getting sent home. But you know, anytime she's been with Nick, her legs are crossed towards him, and things have worked out pretty well for Nick. So, anyways, now you know we're halfway through the honeymoon suite, and then we've got Calvin Harris losing his mind and saying, "I want to know what room Nick's in," and then he goes and he confronts him. Look. Let's deal with what this is. You're dealing with the fact that Calvin Harris, Sean, is jealous of the fact that there was a bit of a hookup. Don't take your anger out on Nick. Nick had an opportunity and he seized it, whether it's right or wrong, but he did. And you won't take your, your anger out on Caitlin because you're too afraid to. So going and confronting Nick and telling Nick, oh, I don't like you, what does Nick care? Nick's not there for you. He's there for Caitlin. Sean, pick up your dignity and leave. Because all you're doing right now is just making a fool of yourself. I'm not saying I'm a big Nick fan. I quite frankly don't get what the big deal is. But I don't also understand why you're coming after this guy just because he's playing the game a lot smarter than you are. What did you guys think of this episode? It's getting pretty interesting, isn't it? A couple weeks left. We'll see what happens. CFL underscore fan on Twitter. Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and Witty Drop me a line and let me know what you think of what's going on. I think it's pretty interesting. It's pretty entertaining. I think she's got a lot of these guys wrapped around her finger. And Calvin Harris seems to be the number one, uh, the number one mark right now. He should have left, in my opinion, but he stuck around. So now suck it up and deal with it, buttercup. Anyways, that's my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours. That's my review for this week, and I'll talk to you soon.